Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the calculation of GDP that is the gross domestic product. Now we know that there are several statistics office around the world who calculate and compile the data to know the GDP of their own countries. For example, we have CSO that is the Central Statistics Office in India which calculates the GDP and after compiling the data from several organizations and departments like the forestry department, the agriculture department, the mining or fishing department and so on and so forth and they also uses several indexes like the IIP, the index of industrial production. So such kind of information is being collected and then compiled to know the GDP of the country. Now the thing arises is when we know that the economic output which is where the GDP is the tool to calculate the economic output and it has three ways to calculate it that is the product method where we uh, know the or rather we calculate the product value then the income method and then the expenditure method. Similarly as GDP is a tool to calculate economic output hence GDP also gets calculated by these three methods only that is the product method then the income method and then the expenditure method. So the GDP which is calculated by the product method is known by the name GDPP or simply GDP. Then GDPI is denoted for the income GDP or the GDP calculated by the income method and similarly GDPE is calculated by the expenditure method. Now let's see how GDP product is calculated. To know this thing the CSO divides the economy in three heads depending on the three main sectors there is the primary sector, the secondary sector and then the tertiary sector and on the same basis we get three heads and eight subheads where the first head is the agriculture head that is the primary head then the industry which is based on the secondary sector and then the services which is based on the tertiary sector and accordingly in agriculture we have one subhead in industry we have three subheads and in services we have four subheads where it could be the agriculture forestry and fishing mining and querying manufacturing electricity gas and water supply construction, trade hotels, transport and so on and so forth. On the basis of the same they calculate the value of the GDP. Here I have a sample of the calculation. Here it says we have eight subheads. We have eight subheads and it tells you the amount that is the production in crore rupees. In the year 2010-11 similarly in 2011-12 here these figures do tell you the value of the product and then the final figures these final figures tell you the GDP of the economy the gross domestic product via the product method we just calculate it and also by knowing the value of the different years we get to know the GDP growth where the formula would be the GDP of the present year let's say the GDP of 2012-13 minus the GDP of 2011-12 that is the previous year upon that is in the denominator we write GDP of the previous year that is 2011-12 into 100 into 100 this figure is called as the GDP growth and it tells us the speed of increasing GDP which could be increasing or GDP depending on the number. For example if we get a 6% of GDP growth that means the country's economy the country's economy is increasing at a pace of 6% that is if we have a 100 crore economy a hundred crore rupee hundred crore economy this year then by the next year it will increase by six percent okay that it will become hundred and six crore the next year now 
the, let's see the second method of counting the GDP that is the income approach GDP I that's the gross domestic product calculated via the income approach is to put simply if we say then it is the addition of all the income all the income generated by the individuals inside the geographical boundary of the country and to do this we have to bifurcate the economy into two sections or two sectors that is the organized sector or the registered sector and the second one is my unorganized or unregistered sector unregistered sector here we calculate the incomes of all the individuals who are working in these two sectors but as far as the analysts are concerned it seems to be the or rather quite difficult task as estimating the economy or estimating the income of these people that is especially the unorganized industry is not easy because of several data gaps and technical errors now let's see the third way of calculating the GDP that is the ex via the expenditure approach it seems quite easy here we simply use a formula which says y is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m or other way around is y equal to c plus i plus g plus nx where nx is equal to uh, net exports and y it is the gross domestic product c is the consumption or simply the private final consumption expenditure that is the total expenditure in the economy where consumption means the purchase of durable products like your car or motorcycle or even a pressure cooker which lasts long for a while and the non-durable items non-durable items like your FMCG products that is the fast moving consumer goods example the toothpaste so such kind of uh, products which do not last long these kind of expenditures do come in the private final consumption expenditure then comes the part of investments where investment mean all those savings in our banks for example purchase of national savings certificates or even purchase of a flat that's a purchase of a building or a land which which comes into the capital formation then comes as the government expenses well the thing which we should mind here is in case of government expenses it doesn't include the welfare part or subsidies kind of things as per the definition of GDP such kind of things should not be calculated then comes exports all those products that we produce in our country and then send outside let's say this is our country we are producing something here and then we are sending it outside to another country so such kind of expenditures on these exports will be counted in this particular definition but yes the imports will not be counted hence they are deducted they are deducted from this definition hence the products which are being manufactured in another country will not be counted in this country even if we, we are spending on those products well in any of these cases above there is all these three methods the GDP product or GDP income or GDP expenditure method we always stick to the main definition of GDP the definition of GDP according to which it has to be a product which is manufactured inside the geographical limit of the country well here I have an example of the GDP E expenditure where you can set the values and find the answer here we have the values of C G I valuables X X minus M and all such kind of things which are required in calculating such things I hope I was able to make you understand the GDP calculation have a nice day ahead bye bye